Hey there, I'm Lily O'Reilly. This is Lily O'Reilly Reviews, and today we're reviewing the Hyenas Halberd from Ambush Toys. So let's get to it, huh? Okay, so today we're going to be reviewing the Hyenas Halberd, or I believe as it's listed on their website, just the Halberd from Ambush Toys. Now, Ambush Toys is a small, independent silicone toy company, like a lot of the ones we review on here. Um, in my interactions with them, I found them to be absolutely lovely. And spoiler alert, I really like this toy. So I'm super hyped that I got to play with one of their products. Now, the toy that I'm specifically holding is a halberd in small, soft emerald. This toy retailed for 75 USD. I'm double checking my invoice real quick just to be sure. I do believe that's correct. Excellent. And I purchased it through their Etsy site. Now, their toys come in five sizes. I have the second size up. They have their base, which costs 55, now, mind you, all prices are what I see at the time of the review. You cannot go back to them if they raise their prices later and be like, mm, Lily told me it was this much because I will haunt you for the rest of your life. Every time you try to pee, I'll make sure you miss if you go and be mean to a creator because of something I post. Capiche? Cool. So they provide you with the usable length dimensions which as far as I've been able to ascertain is measured from this top fold of the sheath to the end of the tip, which is fair. That's about as much as I could fit as well. So yeah, ow, usable. The tiny, which is their base for 55, has a usable of six inches or 15.2 centimeters. Compared to my small, it is similar, but you know, not quite. The width of the head on the tiny is 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimeters, which is quite a bit smaller than what we're dealing with here. And the shaft width would be 1.3. Again, much smaller. It is a very petite dildo. I have the small. The usable on this is seven inches or 17.8 centimeters. And you know, it matches up pretty well. The width of the head is 1.9, so almost two inches, which you know, tracks. And the width of the shaft is 1.6. Again, you know, tracks pretty well. I'm not going to run through all of these for all of them. That would be exhausting, but I will give you the length so you can get a concept of the scale. As I said, tiny, six inches. Small, which I have, is seven. Again, just to give you an idea of the size, seven. Medium, bumps up to an eight inch usable length. Large, gives you a nine inch usable length. And huge gives you a 10 inch usable length all the way up to 25.4 centimeters. This is a considerable amount of dildo if you go for the huge. The huge also has a head width of three inches and a shaft width of 2.5 inches. So 7.6 centimeters on the head, 6.4 centimeters on the shaft. I'm not gonna lie. I really want to try the huge. It seems phenomenal. But even my size queen ass can be happy with the small because this is still, you know, it's a reasonable amount of dick, honestly. They offer three firmnesses, soft, medium, and firm. And what I particularly love about this company is that on their website, they give you a recommendations chart for what sizes should be in what firmnesses. So for instance, for small, if I remember right, they kind of recommend soft, they really recommend medium and hard, which is fine, firm. 
I, though, am a big softie. I like my large toys in very squishy firmnesses, and their soft is marvelously squish. Look at that thing move. It is an incredibly soft silicone, and I love that. It's not all, it's like stale gummy bear firmness. A little bit heavier than that, you know? And it's so good. But yes, they have the guide on the site that you should absolutely check out if you're having trouble making the decision. For me, if I ever do get a chance to try their huge, it will absolutely be in soft firmness because it's such a glorious, squishy texture and I love it. I love it so much. Also, colors. Um, a lot of these color options are upcharged, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what they offer. And they have seasonal pours, something called a masterwork, solid. You can get a split where the shaft and the base are two different colors. They do a two color marble and they have a random. Now with this one in specific, they do offer a hyena natural, which is a beautiful pink to purple fade that just so pretty. Absolutely love it. A little bit salty that I only have emerald, but it's, it doesn't matter because the toy is so good. Now we've run through all of the notes. Now this is about what I love about this toy and why I think you should probably buy it. Cool. We got our thesis out of the way. A, the length on this is beautiful. This length is one where I, when I hit the end of their usable length, this thing is tucked all the way up in here. It is behind the cervix. It is rattling around. I had some vague worries that because the head, if you see, has that slightly pointed tip to it, I was so afraid that it was going to be uncomfortable because I have a fairly reactive cervix. It does not like being poked at. But the tip on this is so soft with the soft silicone and it's so blunt that it really just kind of rolled around without uncomfortably stabbing. Also, the flare at the end here makes for the most beautiful popping sensation when you insert it. You get this very good kind of and then the shaft is this long, slow drag. It is marvelous. And of course, silicone means it's easy to clean. You can wash it, you can boil it, you can run it through the dishwasher as long as you don't use dish soap. It is beautifully low maintenance. It's also like one of my favorite toys right now, especially since, you know, post fire, I packed up a lot of my stuff. The majority of my dildos are hanging out in suitcases right now. This thing is living right next to my bed. It is my toy of choice. And it's only 75 bucks, which for a monster toy of this size is really reasonable. It's got but got, it's got pussy dust. What the friggin' mm. I've washed this thing four times and either I have industrial grade pussy dust or this thing just collects it, but it is easy to clean. I'll give it that even with the small textured hole at the tip. Come on, show them, show them your hole. Damn it. Come on, look at the hole. There we go. Even with the hole at the tip and the flare is subtle enough that it's very easy to clean. I ran into some mild issues down here in the ball crease and around the top of the sheath, but it's fine. It took like an extra two minutes of detail scrubbing to get the dust off. I just, I love this thing. It's got a big soft head. It's got great subtle textures. The silicone is a little draggy, but not overly textured. A little bit of water-based lube smoothed it right out. And it has a good enough base that it is stable enough that when I use it, I don't have to worry about chasing it. It will sit where you put it, which is so nice. A nice double-ended suction cup, and you could absolutely just put this thing on the wall and have a go. Now I need to find my suction cups. And yeah, I know I also need to find Joe. He is 
packed away somewhere and I need to do a great dildo sorting to locate him. He'll come back, I promise. So in conclusion, if you like, sorry, if you like big heads, long shafts, soft textures, and honestly, really freaking pretty toys, this is not doing it justice. Their hyena pore is so pretty. Do this, get this. It's, mm, it's so nice. Yeah, yeah, that's my review. Really good toy. Very happy I tried it. Now, for the ending spiel. If you want to find me anywhere I exist online, beacons.ai slash lillibunt or find.lilyoreilly.com. They both work fine. If you want to toss me three bucks or more on Ko-Fi, I would appreciate that. That is ko-fi.com slash lillyoreilly. And as always, you're welcome to come hang out on my Discord if you want. There's a link to that in the beacons.ai. We're chill. We talk about toys. We do a lot of toy trading as well. And you don't need to be shy because we're super friendly. And yeah. So as closing, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.